and straight down the ground four runs beautifully timed from Aaron Hardy who's on the cusp of another half century <laughs> Over in the air and oh good grab outstanding grab and Tasmania had the breakthrough. Bo Webster, who's taken over 20 catches. No, I'm not mucking around. Yeah. You know he's being freaking back into it. That's four. Pretty well placed. Just uh, got over the top that, didn't he, Cartwright? Edging and caught at first slip. Jordan Silk, the man. So the new ball strikes. And WA lose their fifth wicket. Beautifully bowled from Bell in the... So far back, and Cooper Connolly, as happens with the cricket gods, it's ball he faces pretty much, goes to the rope. He loves it through there, doesn't he, Cooper Connolly? It's delightfully timed from Hilton Cartwright, and with the wind, it scoots away for another boundary. That'll be four more. That's through, and that'll be four more. So what does it do to be able to manipulate the blade? And so a lifeline for Cartwright, and of course, what happens next? <laughs> four runs. Instead, the runs are piling up, and Froggy Freeman's got a bit of a chase here. Valiant chase. Edge this time, and it's all going WA's way. The edge just goes not even just past the fielder, like right in the middle of the gap. Another edge, it carries this time, and Bo Webster takes a really good catch down low. And Cooper Connolly has to go now. Four this time, edges this time past second slip, and it's four. That's annoying if you're a bowler. In flight there and punch through the cover area and down to the boundary for four so he was attacking against Freeman in the first innings and he's into the 90s now with that shot get up he'll be well relaxed coming to their bowling innings oh appeal for LBW that's got to be close oh. and he's on his way Cartwright six short of a hundred and you wouldn't bet on it padding up and it's seven down well by Webster yeah no one in the cover region and that should go all the way although he didn't quite get it Charlie Stobo so they're gonna have to run for their four Riley Meredith almost oh. Oh, what on earth was <laughs> Webster just getting the ball to do a few things here doesn't get the payoff there all the way for Joel Paris oh so the biggest chance of getting injured is when you stop that should start be again. four more Breeze is pushing it down toward that boundary so another one for Stobo, he gets the 13, WA at 7 for 320. Now, so oh, oh, straight through and stayed down as well. In the air and just over and should race away. Brad Hope's got a bit of a journey out to that boundary and can't quite drag it in. Down the wicket and over mid-off, down towards the long-off boundary and it goes all the way. Six to Cameron Gannon. Oh, and that has ended up in the air towards Webster. An appeal. And he's got him. Straight out of the middle of the bat. Fuller, straighter, an appeal, and he's on his way. Sean Craig likes what he sees. So Gannon misses out on another 50 in shield cricket. Webster gets his third. And the West Indies, uh, West Indies, West Australia, second innings comes to an end at 376. <laughs> and here's Paris to start things up. And that uh, typical out swing away. Ball's hitting the stumps. Down the wicket, driving and caught behind by Inglis. So Wade under 10 in both innings in this game. And Gannon gets him for the second time. Pick that one, Charlie, and blazes away, gets a boundary for it. Good shot. I mean, it was over pitch, but, you know, you get that. That's fine. Paris is trying to swing the ball in. Oh. 
just wide of mid on. Wide, upish, but through. And a boundary for Jewel. He controlled that a little bit better. All wide and through. No control whatsoever, but beats fine leg for another boundary. Close. close. Very close. Out. Charlie Wake and gone. Tasmania lose their second. And Joel Paris. Nick go. and gone. Caleb Jewell now, three down. Tasmania, beautiful bowling from Cameron Gannon. Moving across, yeah, well Chris Jordan Silk gets off the mark with a stylish shot. And should that, make the rope and does. Yeah, that's good. That's well played. That's what you've got to do. You know, he's not being dictated to by uh, Joel Paris. Edging and through the gap oh, in kidding. the slips and gully. It's, a lot of balls have gone through that full <laughs> slip that, region. How has it gone through that gap? That's what Joel Paris would be thinking. You've got to be serious. On the pads, that's a good shot from Silk. Chase for Rocket Charlie out towards the eastern part of the wacker. It's going to be four. Good shot from Silk. Another boundary for him. Full on the drive. That's a beauty. Lovely shot from Jordan Silk. Three fours in his 14, and all of them very nice looking shots. On the cut this time, it'll be another boundary out through the covers. So, Jordan Silk mm. here having a very nice little purple patch here as the Tasmanians get the 50 in their second dip. Over the top of slips, another boundary for good shot. Jordan Silk just about hit the camera down there. Yeah, good shot. That's a difference. Down the wicket, looking to attack immediately and punches that yep. wide of mid on for four. Good shot from Jordan Sill. Yeah, really good shot. It was a full toss, but it, the intent is batting on off stump. He's going right, I'm going to attack it, I'm going to use my feet. On the pull this time. Gets that away, backward of square leg, and it'll be another Jeez. boundary for the Tassie skipper. So a uh, blaze of boundaries here at the moment, yep. coming off his gun and more bat. Oh, short again, and away he goes again. Oh. Backward of square leg for another boundary. So good batting here. From the Tasmania captain taking the attack to the spinner. Runs as opposed to wickets. Looks at one fine, racing down towards the fine leg rope, and it'll be another boundary. So Tasmania really putting the foot down here. Some indifferent bowling and some good batting from the Tigers. More runs. Four of them, in fact. Evening buzz. Evening Adam, evening Steve, evening everyone out there. Just shows you when you play positively. Move through the air. And a little edge and taken. Well taken by Josh Inglis. Another one for Inglis. Another one for Stobo. And Tasmania lose their fourth. And it's the big wicket of the captain, Jordan Silk. That's hit hard. No point in chasing that. Four runs. Bo Webster. Intentful start. Another one through. And four more for Webster. Foreign to this. Shot from Doran down the ground. That should be four more. It's going to run away. Down the wicket. In the air. Misjudges it. And it's going to be taken at mid-off. So Western Australia pick up their fifth wicket. Doran looking to be aggressive. But unfortunately, has miscued one to mid-off. Innings, maybe even more exaggerated in the second innings. Over the top. Oh, Brad Hope cleaned that up. And lucky for him, he got enough on it. He tries the same thing, and that's ended in disaster for Bo Webster. Well taken by Hilton Cartwright. Another one for him. And Gannon has his third. Tasmania lose their sixth. Oh, that has oh, wow. to be gone. Plum. Freeman, second ball. Gannon, a fourth. WA with insight now of another Shield title. And then he does that. Dances that's down the wicket. Said it. Tries to hit him over Gloucester Park, and he's clean bowled. See, got him out of the crease, didn't I? <laughs> In the air. Oh, what a Great catch. catch. And what a way to win it. Joel Paris with a screamer. And Western Australia, the benchmark of Australian domestic cricket, 
have their third Shield title in a row. And if you're going to do it, do it like that.